In today's video, I'm going to show you our new homeschool room tour for 2020-2021. Hey guys, it's Vani from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool. If you're new to my channel, I am a homeschooling mom of three children and I make homeschooling videos on curriculum reviews, homeschool day in the lives, everything to help you on your homeschooling journey. So if you are interested in that kind of content, make sure to subscribe and check out my playlist for more. Today's video is in collaboration with a bunch of other wonderful homeschooling mothers who are gonna show you their homeschooling spaces. That way you guys can get a lot of ideas in case you're new to homeschooling or you're ready to change your homeschool space. So make sure to check out that playlist in the description below and you can see everybody's videos there. So today I'm bringing you into my home. First, I have to ask you to excuse the smoke detector that keeps beeping and all the rowdy children upstairs. <laughs> our homeschool space is in the formal living room of our home. So as soon as you walk in the main entrance, you walk straight into our homeschool room. So the bad thing about that is that it has to be neat all of the time and it's the room that we're in 90% of the day. So that's the little bit of the challenging part. And also when people come into our home for the home first time and don't know that we're homeschoolers, they're a little bit confused. They just think like I'm a parent that really takes my kids regular schooling and homework <laughs> seriously. We do our all of our main work out of this main room that I'm gonna show you guys. But then we also have a nature corner in the kitchen and an art corner in the kitchen as well. And I'll go into more detail as to why we have that when we get there. So here's my homeschool room. So when you walk into my home, this is exactly what you see. So let's start over here in this messy little corner, which is our shoe rack. Um, I also utilize the top shelf and I put my little one's puzzles here and some preschool things here. And then right now this is an airport for the paper airplanes that we made the other day. But normally what I'm gonna have here are books the science books that we're using for the units. So here we have our science wall. We use the good and a beautiful science. So in that we're to create a science wall. So I ordered this big bulletin board off of Amazon. I will find it and link it below. Um, but basically I have two units up this time. The first two units that we're going to do this month. So I have one here and one here. And then over here I have just a little poster of the scientific method. And then here, this is a things to do while you wait. Um, I'm going to be homeschooling an extra child this year. And then my oldest homeschooler is back home after a year in public school. And so now I have four homeschoolers. So they are going to need to have a list of things that they do while they wait for me to do one-on-one -on -one work. But I'll go into depth with that when I create the video of a day in the life video. Over here, I have my home sweet homeschool um, poster that I created and printed out. And then here I have my favorite poem that I tell my kids all the time when they're caught playing during the homeschool day. Work when you work, play when you play. This is the way to be happy all day. All that you do, do with your might. Things done by half are never done right. So they hate the poem and I love it. Over here was my preschooler's little weather chart when we go outside and we check the weather. And then I have my my oil warmer here that just gives the whole classroom and the whole entranceway a nice, good, fresh smell. As soon as you walk in, we have my my little one's iPad here. You might ref hear me. So you might hear me refer to my youngest as my preschooler or my kindergartner. That's because she's four preschool age, but she's doing kindergarten homeschool. So I tend to throw those terms back and forth just in case I don't want you to be confused and think I have two preschoolers or like one of each. Okay, so here we have our little reading bean bags, which my dog made her doggy bed too. She loves 
these things more than my kids do. I keep our library books in this basket because we were losing them way too much around the house. Kids were taking them to their rooms, putting them in their own bookshelves, and then I was owing money. So they all have to stay in that basket. And so this is the reading corner where they will, if whenever it's reading time, they can sit and do their quiet reading here. And then I have my whiteboard here on this wall for any quick lessons that we need. Um, we just had our two walls painted for this homeschool year. And I also have these stickers. Ability is what you're capable of doing. Motivation determines what you do and attitude determines how you do it. We are doing some, I have incorporated some positive thinking and attitude things into our homeschool. So I have books like this and I also have like this sign here. Let's see if you can see it. It says one small positive thought in the morning can change your whole day. And I have more positive books here just to get the kids in a positive mindset for those funky days. Okay, so over here we have our computer section. So I have my main computer here that they do their online math, any typing, any researching, um, any videos, science videos or any kind of videos. They want to look up something on YouTube. That is the computer to do it. Um, and then over here, normally... Um, this is going to be my daughter, my, my four-year-old takes over and puts all her pencils. She has all of her stuff in here. She collects leaves and um, gum. She's into gum right now. <laughs> we have our Osmo games in here. And they can pull it out and play with the Osmo up here. Or if somebody needs to use this desk, they can also just use it for school. Um, over here we have my, my, my nine-year-old son and my four-year-old daughter's book bags, book bags for when we go to co-op and they can put all their books in lunch boxes and stuff that they need in here. We hang it there so it doesn't get lost. Um, okay, so before I get into all of that, this is my new table that I'm in love with. So if you guys have been with me for a while, you know that we used to do homeschool out of my dining room table, which is a mess over there. I just had to clean this room up real quick, so I threw everything over there. <laughs> I was working out of this room right now, but I um, couldn't find a table. I found one at Ikea, and then um, they weren't delivering. We couldn't pick it up. It was just a mess. So um, I went on offerup.com, and I was able to find this table for sale for a very decent price. Um, and so, and the chairs actually matched my walls perfectly. So I swooped that up immediately as soon as I saw it was perfect. Perfect fit for my classroom. So now we can do all of our group work and all of our work here. And what I keep here is just markers and pencils and our story starters for when we do journaling time and our morning basket, sometimes we might do um, story starters. Okay, and then over here we have our map. And this is a map from our mammal science unit, and it has animals, the mammals from the different countries. And I really like it. We finished our mammals unit, but I really like this map. So this is our one of our world maps that we have up. And it shows the seven continents. Then we have, of course, our globe here. And then here, this is my kindergartner's bin. Up here, we have her main schoolwork. So what she's doing now is reading and math, and her language arts is all in here. And then down here, oh, her reading's in here too. She also has her sticker book. Um, I'm going to make a separate video on how I do school with her and how I encourage her. Um, but these are also some of her solo activities that she can do while she's waiting for me. And then down here are more. It's like her scissors and crayons and markers and art stuff and some more things that she can do by herself. This handwriting should be up here because I couldn't find it the other day. Here we have the little easel that we use for lessons as well. The whiteboard side and then the chalkboard side. And then under here is where I store my morning basket. Hiding in there. All right, so this is my bookshelf wall. You guys can see, oh, I forgot to show you, I have, um, one of those ropes up there to hang my kids artwork and then I have another one down here 
to hang their artwork because my little girl's always drawing me hearts with eyelashes. Okay, so here I have my big world map and we'll start at this side. So obviously I have my lamp because this room has no lighting in it. So I have a lamp there and I have many books I want to show off. I put them up here in these easels. Um, this up here, I just stored, this is for my co-op class that I teach. I literally just put this up here yesterday. I didn't know where else to put it, but this is where I'm storing my stuff for my co-op right now. And I have my laminator. Um, and then here I have just different books. I have some science books for um, kindergarten age. And then I have some of the bigger resource books, science books, dictionaries, thesauruses, encyclopedias. Here I have all of the art supplies. Here is more of geography type books, um, atlases and things like that. Then these are my two, two of my craft, well, I guess my two craft bins because I have the rest of the things in the other room. And then this is where we have our, some of our educational games down at the bottom of this room for more storage. Over here is my eighth graders section. So she just has her scissors and pencils and things like that in here. Um, these are my little clips and little teacher supplies that I have in here. And this is hers. So she keeps her thumbtacks and sharpeners. And then we just have some of her work. Some of her work is upstairs, but her electives would go in here. Um, her art supplies for drawing. She's doing drawing right now with her curriculum. Um, her language arts things go in here. Her science things go in here. And her history things go in here. We have our garbage can that needs to get emptied out, but I just got packages today. Um, and then over here, we have the printer. My printing paper. Um, and this is all different types of paper in here. So I have some group, some of these papers for math with the little grids on them and some manila folders, some construction paper. Here I have some of uh, these plastic covers, I forget what they're called. Um, and then different things for the binder, tabs and stuff like that. And then in this drawer I have some lined paper that I'm trying to use up, but it's like I have a never ending supply. And I don't like this kind. It's good for my little one to learn to draw, to write, but she's the only one who would use it and she's not really writing yet. Um, and then down here we have, let's go on this side, we have books that are more my son's. Actually, these are, yeah, these two are books that are my son's age. And then this one are books from my little girl. She has more books in her room. I try to get most of my books from the library because we don't have that much book storage, so we don't buy a lot of books. We just get them all from the library. And then this are some more games, uh, school games, and math manipulatives. Up here we have some 3D puzzles that my son used last year for some of his unit studies. And I have my 50 States book that I like to show off over here. And then I did, don't know if you can even tell, but I did the blue wall with the coral accents. So I have those two, ba these baskets, the binders and coral, those binders, and then these two bean bags. I originally wanted to get some coral chairs for there, but my kids love those two chairs from the old homeschool room, so we're just keeping it. Plus, I can't really find any coral chairs. And here I have my four-year-old's curriculum and all the things that we're doing for her. This is my son's things that he's going to be using this year. And then this is my first grader's curriculum, the little girl that I'm helping to homeschool. And then up here are their science units and poetry tea time and things that they use jointly in here. Okay, and then we also have on the side some chess, um, independent laser maze game. These are all of my Bible resources down here. And then these are some more educational games that we use during school on our laid back Mondays, Monday mornings. Okay, so last thing in this classroom I'm gonna show you is our, my son's calendar. And then he has his planner. This is for my eight year old, his section. He's got all his stuff here, his musical multiplication. This is his little pencil case that he takes with him if he's gonna do school on another side of the room. Is his timer, highlighters, pencils, glue, and scissors. He's a stapler there. 
and this top this top end is actually my four-year-old's unit study she wants to learn about rabbits so I created a little mini unit study for her and I put those things in here my son's doing pastels for art so this is his art bin this is his language arts bin it has the books that he's reading in here and everything this is his um, I don't know what this is supposed to, uh, electives possibly, because he used to have a math bin, but now he does math online, so I guess extra. <laughs> and then this is his history bin for the history that we're using. It saves me room on the shelf to be able to put them in there. So now that you saw our main classroom, you're gonna, I'm gonna take you over to our little nature corner and our art corner. I also love the lighting in this room. It's my brightest room because we have the two windows there with the palm trees out front and then we have this big window up there. If you walk straight past here, I set up a desk corner for myself in the main family room because I do a lot of my work at night. I don't like to be away from the family so I just put my stuff there and that way they can hang out here and I can hang out there and we're still together. And then here's my kitchen that I'm gonna take you to. So this is my art corner. And this is my son's morning list and my daughter's little chore chart, my four-year-old and my nine-year-old. My eight, uh, how old is she? 13-year-old has a list upstairs of things she's supposed to do during the day. Up here they have Play-Doh, paint. It gets messy because they just toss everything up here when they're done. And this is all paints. This is a little caddy with paint and paint brushes and glitter lots of glitter only room in the house they're allowed to do glitters in the kitchen because i can easily sweep and mop it we have carpet around the rest of the house all right so we have lots of paint this is our paint bin this is all of our paper this is all construction paper oh and soaps want to make soaps there's the soap <laughs> and then this is more crafts in here I'm glad I found these because I didn't realize I had them. There's supplies in here that I forgot I had. Okay, my hot glue gun, a bunch of different things. So this is my yard area, which um, is a project. Going to work on my patio this fall, making a little playground, a play area in the backyard so we can have some recess and better nature studies out there. But for now, for now I will show you my nature corner. So I got these two watercolored papers printed i bought them off of etsy this one has insects and this one has different types of oak trees and then i bought these wooden frames to put them in and then if you look down here i have this little corner shelf i have a big set of binoculars if we want to go look at the stars or the birds in the trees I have some nature books, a bug catcher, we have some flower seeds to feed the birds outside, we have a big magnifying glass, we have some things that my daughter collected from nature in here that we like to study, and we have the rest of our nature books and resources, they're all back here. I made a video on this, you guys can check that out. And back here I have a little uh, beehive or wasp nest that we took that we're gonna be able to study. All right, and down here we have bags so that when we go on our, our walks, they can collect things for nature in here. And these are rocks um, for painting and hiding in the parks. And then whenever my daughter collects things, she puts them here on the shelf. Here is their um, sketch pads for when we do nature studies and they make things. We hold the sketch pads in here with the paint, with the watercolors. I'll just take this whole thing out and set it outside and they can start uh, writing in their nature journals. And then down here we have our butterfly kit that we already used once this year. Um, another a pine cone there. And then we have this wildlife treasure that was actually my husband's when he was a kid. And it has all the different kinds of cards for all the different types of animals, insects, fish, everything. Um, even organisms in there and then in the back of them they have information 
So that is our homeschool. That is our home. This is how we make our home into our whole learning environment. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out that playlist and hit the notification bell on my channel because I'm going to be showing you a lot more curriculum reviews of all this these cool things that I've gotten lately and I'm also going to be showing you in September a lot of homeschooling day in the life videos and do a lesson with me videos so you can see what our day looks like in action so make sure you subscribe and I will s I will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching